Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is a recording for the robotics team and for the setup of the barn. And what are the, the Zoom recording that is happening right now is because I am using the server, the 2080 servers, and they don't have the, the, the best audio quality. So I'm using Zoom so that my laptop can record the video and the uh, audio, I'm sorry. Okay, so first, the computer, the computer server that we have at the moment is running Ubuntu 20.04 because uh, I need that in order to run this virtual machine. Somehow the, the better version doesn't run the virtual machine very well. So why do we need to run virtual machine? Because uh, ROS is very is distro distribution uh, dependent. So it will only run when the Ubuntu is the correct version. So because the barn competition requires us to have a ROS melodic because the, I don't know why the view is so small. I hope it expand. Okay, it expands. Uh, yes, uh, it requires us to have ROS melodic. Uh, I will be installing ROS melodic right now. And I think, I hope you can follow. Those who know, you will know. But I hope that you will learn something from the difficulties of installing all of these. So first, we, if we go to the Barn Challenge website, we will see that. Uh, I am not sure why is it freezing. It was freezing. So I should restart. Uh, Barn Challenge 2024. Then I also know that I will be needing Ross Melodic. Ross Melodic. So all of the instruction is already up there. It's just you need to read and understand. But let me show it at the moment for you so that you know what are the what might be the problem that you can encounter. So you can see a training pipeline is implemented in Ross and Ubuntu 18.04. Therefore, we are using 18.04, go to ROS Melodic. So first, we have to get this, uh, Control c Control v So this is like telling the, the OS to know. So basically, everything is on the cloud right now, like all of the software. How, how do we get our software? We have to install them. And usually, you will go online, find an executable in the case of Windows, right? Or in the case of MacBook and iOS, you have to go to an app store. But basically, you have to go to an online store, in a sense, to get them down. So in Linux, basically, we have to tell the operating system where the thing, where the, where we can find those. So you can see here, echo that uh, HTTP stuff. This is the, the repository of ROS. And then it will write it down onto our computer. In this process, the latest dot list uh, is like a, a place where it will store the uh, online link to the rep, the, the link to the online repository. So here we do the key thing. So probably to communicate with the with, with that uh, online repository of ROS. So we do this ROS app update. So people may ask, okay, what is sudo app update? When I first started out, I was confused the same way, but you can just understand that sudo is when you want to have the admin right, because many of the command that you have, it can be a normal user or you can be an admin user. So we are we just install the OS, so we can le we can leverage our privilege into admin. App is a thing called package management. So app is a uh, a command that will trigger a uh, software in a sense. So yeah, it will help you to manage all of the packages. So when we do sudo app update it will uh, crawl the repository that we just add. As you can see here, get package from this link, security, archive. So those are the things that we just tell, we just key in up here. So ROS app update. And then now the magic moment is here. So app sudo app ROS install. Basically install everything uh, from, the, yeah, from the ROS uh, system. You can see that the ROS melodic and there are other various dependency and smaller, smaller packages. 
So when we write this command, it will install everything, like literally everything. So it will be taking a while. And yeah, so now it's just wait for the thing to download. And you can see that there are like a full desktop install or just a ROS base or even individual package. You can see that ROS app install individual packages. And here are, and where do we get these packages? You can, uh, I think they should share. No, they didn't share. Uh, no GI tool or click here. What is click here? Open link. Uh, okay, never mind. That 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 is just uh, that is just a link. Yeah, you see app double dot app double dot on the down here app double dot something. So basically, it is still interfacing with app, and there is a place so called a marketplace for all of these various dependency, which is called ROS index. When you go to the ROS index, you can see that the community has developed a lot of yeah active distribution. Let's go to Noetic. Even though we're not using Noetic, it's just a demonstration. So in the ROS ROS index, eh? ROS index package uh, package list, yes. So you can see that RMF various packages, and we can just simply call them uh, one line to install them, one line to install them as in sudo app something, and then you have to write down the name of the package that you want. So when you see the ROS melodic package, uh, ROS melodic, ROS melodic prefix, it means that they develop it specifically for that specific specific version of ROS, ROS, and yeah, you can also use app search to search what are available. And I think later on, the difficult part is to understand this environment setup, right? It is very simple once you get a hang of it, but. Mm, or it, it is more understandable if you understand how the Linux system works, but it's okay. We will go through step by step and share with you how we can get that, get there. And furthermore, so, so the problem when dealing with Linux and all this ROS is all about the dependency management. We need to understand where each of the management, uh, where each of the packages or libraries that we are drawing from. So it is very troublesome, very, very troublesome. So therefore, we, we, need, we also need to sudo app install more packages to help us with all of these um, build with both building and managing package. And one of the more important one is this ROSDEP. ROSDEP is stand for ROS dependency. So it is another layer of management, of uh, package management that will help to install the correct packages. So that the whole uh, environment setup can run properly. So you might have so let's open VS Code. What what is still running? Let's go to various uh, notable importance. So why do we need to have all of these concepts of building and packaging and all of this stuff? Uh, so let's see if we have Python. Let's check if we have Python. Yep, we do have, oh shit, Python 2. I hope we have Python 3. Yeah, we do also have Python 3. So usually we will be interfacing with Python 3 only. We should remove Python 2. So what I would do is, let's see, there is this thing called sudo app install Python is, Python is Python 2. Python 2 is Python. Uh, yeah, so what are these things? What, 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 what am I trying to... What am I trying to do here? Because Python refers to Python, but it is like a nickname. We have to clarify whether it is Python 2 or Python 3. And one way to do it is like, you can see here, we search on Stack Overflow. We need to install that. Uh, Python is Python 3. And alias, alias is you know, a nickname. Python equals Python 3. So later, so when we trigger Python, it will come up as Python uh, 3 instead of Python 2. We are not dealing with Python 2 anymore. Let's discard that and let's forget that. 
right? So why don't I uh, write uh, you write the command right away? Probably because uh, there, yeah, it will be held back because the ROS is uh, installing. So both the both the installing installation and the command, the remove command that I'm using is mediated to this app. So if it is busy, we cannot do it. Yeah. So at the moment, we just need to wait. But then while we are waiting, what can we do? We can install the various extension for the VS Code, right? Because they are very useful. Code runner. Code runner, code runner. Yeah, very useful. Yeah, so uh, do I need to? Yeah, yeah let, let's demonstrate. New file, text Python file. Okay. Uh, print. Well, right. This is a very simple, right? This is like the the simplest. Okay, need to save here. Already save in desktop. S. Yes. Yes, nice. Yeah. So Python is very approachable. One single line, and you are good to go. Then, because I just installed the code runner, it uh, pop up this uh, play button, which only plays the current file that I open. And it should, yeah, it runs very quickly and very simple. But why do we need all of the build system, all of these extra stuff? It's because with uh, ROS also supports C and C++, C++ language. And in C++ language, it is not an interpreted language, but it is a, a compiled language. And what does compile mean? Compile, uh, compiler, C++. So basically, when we write the code here, it will be a source code. Then, uh, when in order to get an executable program, it has to go through a middleman. Let's see if there are, yeah. So source code is the .cpp file. Then it will pass through a processor compiler. Then, at the end of the compiler, there will be another op uh, another file called an object file. And then the object file will link all of the object file together to give you an executable. How would I demonstrate that? Okay, let's see if this works. Uh, open image new tab. Yeah, so each C++ code will be compiled into an object file, right? A separate file that is attached to this C++ file. And then it will, they will all link together in order to give you an executable program. And why do we need this linker and object file? Because in one file, you might be referring to other components in other file. Therefore, if any of the component down the line is broken, the whole thing is broken and you cannot compile anymore. So that is why the, the, the build process, so, so the whole process from going from source to an executable program, people call it a build process. So you build an uh, executable program from the source code. And as your program and your system start to explode in scale and size and complexity, all of these need to be handled. And uh, the build system is one way that uh, people automate the process and help us to track what is happening and where. OK, so even after that, it is still installing, uh, which is still very quite Still quite sad, and at the moment I don't know what to do next. So probably I will stop for the next. Thank you.